we want to find the equation in standard form of the ellipse graphed here on the left. The first thing to notice is that we have a vertical major axis, which is this axis here, and we have a horizontal minor axis, which is this axis here. Remember, the major axis is always the longer of the two axes. Also notice that the center of the ellipse is at the origin, and therefore the center is this point here with coordinates zero comma zero. The length of the major axis is equal to two a, or we can say the distance from the center to one endpoint of the major axis is equal to a. So notice for our ellipse, a would be equal to five, and the length of the minor axis is equal to two b, or we can say the distance from the center to one endpoint of the minor axis is b. So in our case, we can say that b equals two. The standard form of an equation of ellipse with a vertical major axis is given here below, where again the center is h comma k, and a is always greater than b, so when we have a vertical major axis, a squared, the larger denominator was under the y part of the equation. When we have a horizontal major axis, a squared, the larger denominator is under the x part of the equation. So once again, because we know that the center, h comma k, is at the origin, we know h is zero and k is zero. We also know a equals five and b equals two. And therefore, the standard form of the equation for our ellipse would be x squared, again, since h is zero, divided by b squared, which would be two squared or four, plus y squared, because k is zero, divided by a squared, which would be five squared or twenty-five, equals one. This would be the standard form of the equation for our ellipse with a vertical major axis. I hope you found this helpful.